The coronavirus has increased the awareness of ourselves as vulnerable biological creatures, as opposed to symbolic beings protected by the power and durability of culture. This opposition, according to terror management theory, takes place largely unconsciously and is the main impetus for the creation of culture, the activities and beliefs that provide us with a sense that we are individuals of value in a world of durable meaning. By distracting ourselves from feelings of insignificance with entertainment, sensuality, by becoming individualist, heroic contributors to world life, or more modestly, collective contributors to heroic world life, we can overcome our fear of death, of becoming insignificant nothings. Social relationships, busyness, and identity-sustaining activities Known death anxiety buffers, according to terror management theory, have all decreased. Health and financial anxiety have increased as well. Uncertainty is rife. The risk of dying from the disease is itself a conscious concern for many. Available entertainment and the absorbing drama elicited by the virus are not enough to offset this anxiety. Two new heroisms, to use Ernest Becker's terminology, are being forged that may, among some, partially counter this death anxiety with an enhanced sense of identity. Number one, the heroism perceived in certain professions that keep society going, especially in the healthcare sector. Number two, a heroic widespread solidarity required to defeat the virus. Most other identities or heroisms in society have temporarily taken a backseat, and so they will generate a compensatory reaction to reestablish or even to reinvent themselves. The self-explorations of some who are currently forced to delve in solitude will also be a factor, and so will attempts to enhance one's identity by putting others down, for example, anti-Chinese racism. What this will look like is too early to tell. It is uncertain, for instance, to what extent it may enhance or modify progressivism, radicalism, nationalism, religiosity, materialism, romantic and artistic strivings, family aspirations, etc. The only thing that seems certain for now is that coronavirus anxiety will lead to an increase in mental illness.